week. Um, so this week what we're going to be doing is are they going to commit to you? We're going to look at you and your person, see what the energies are and see where it's heading and if you are going to get that commitment from them. Um, my turnaround time is down at the moment due to me being away. Also because Stoke-on-Trent, the city where I live, has been put on lockdown again. So if you need me, my booking time is right down at the moment. So it's a good time to book. The other thing that's going to happen is I'm going to put out a Sal Wayne special over the weekend for you. I'm going to get well, get dressed up, see what, what I can find. Um, because in Sal Wayne, obviously, the veil between our world and the next is that it's finished. And it's my favourite time of year. So I want to, um, to do a public for that. I seem to think of a theme. You know, I want something a little bit more magical and mystical. And I was thinking, why are they ghosting you? But if you guys have any ideas about what you want, um, and you can go down the Salwayne Halloween theme with that, bung it in the comments. Okay, deck number one and deck number two. So think about your person for me. And as you're thinking about your person, I really want you to feel your emotions for them. Really go with that heart-centered energy and push it to the deck that you are most drawn to. Uh, this is the spacious tarot and this is the mythical creatures tarot. So where your energy is. Obviously blue can stand a lot for communication. Over here we have a more green heart-centered energy deck. Okay, so let's do this. Deck number one. So can you get me into the collective energy of deck number one? So as always, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances. A bit like how we worked out the average of maths at the school. Think about your person for me. Can I have your person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes and the mutual collective energy on that please now i feel that we only need to pick five cards pull five cards to begin with and that is where our starting point is going to be and we'll see what comes up can you tell me is their person going to commit to them is their person going to commit oh. Okay, so I got um a few songs coming into my right ear then now we're going back in time to I can't even remember when Blink-182 were around, but Say It Ain't So, I Will Not Go, Turn The Light Off, Carry Me Home. That came forward first and foremost in your energy. And there was another one, but it's a bit like my ears. <laughs> They're like radio stations. It's probably the best way to explain it. I could tune into frequency um, and, you know, like white noise and things like that. If you, if you kind of skip past it, you can't pick it up. But the Blink-182 song is very at the forefront. Um, now... That being said, your person has got this very, very, we've got six cards, we're going to go with these. We've got very, very strong feelings, very, very strong emotions for you. And there is this wanting to commit with you, okay? And that is why that song is coming up. The other one that I've got, oh my God, it was an, e oh God, it was an emo one. It was in um, American Pie and it's really old. Um, and I think it was by a band called Lit. I'm hearing the word Lit, but I can't remember the song. Um, it's a band called Lit, American Pie, something about, um, yeah, I can hear it now. Sleeping with the lights out. Okay. Um, can't remember the specific song, but I can hear someone singing it in my right ear. So what's happening with you and your person? Now, if we, we're going to initially go with the songs that are coming into your guys' energy. Um, this is a relationship that's probably been going on for quite some time, okay? Quite some time. Um, you might feel that if it hasn't been of more recent times, this will have some kind of past life energy coming up between you both. This is a, a relationship that has stood the test of time and this is a relationship that has got very deep roots with one another. The emotions between the two of you run very, very physically deep and that connection between the both of you is deep. Now, your cards are really, really positive over here when we're looking at the commitment. So the first one we've got over here is this Two of Cups energy. Now, your Two of Cups is always talking about love, romance, can be friendships as well, um, but this is really talking about the love that the two of you share. The waters around this card are very calm, so the emotions between you both, even though they can sometimes roller coaster the emotions overall are very calm there is a very strong love that is holding the two of you in place even if you've kind of gone your separate ways for the time being this love will always draw you back together and there's a peace that comes with that there's a peace that comes with that love you know your person is aware of their emotions they are aware of their feelings they might not have expressed it to you but they
they are aware that this love runs deep and these emotions that come with that are very calm. They know that they love you. They know that they have these really strong feelings for you. Now, they might have been a bit of a kind of Knight of Wands energy, might have felt like you guys might have felt that they're playing you or they haven't been honest with you or they've been a little bit like fast moving. Maybe it's been based purely on sex um, and it's left you lot watching a little bit pickled in your mind over it. But your person, again, has these very strong underlying emotions for you and they're still clinging on to the situation. They've still got hope that this situation is gonna find a way around that is gonna work out between the two of you. With that spirit, we're also saying protection. So you might find that your person's actions have have happened because they're trying to protect you, trying to protect your energy. Um, perhaps they couldn't give you what you wanted at that point in time. So wherever your individual circumstances have led you, there is this element that they are trying to protect you uh, potentially from themselves, but also from circumstances. And the reason for that, again, is because of this love between you both. So even if they haven't been giving you this commitment that you want, there is this need for commitment to happen, which is really positive. I love a reading like this. They can see that this relationship can work out between the two of you. And it's really looking positive that your person is going to give you the commitment that you want. Over here we have the star, coming back to kind of star maiden energy, uh, star maiden talking about hope, dreams, being on the right path, finding faith. The star always kind of reminds me um, of Israel. I, I went to Israel a couple of years back um, and, you know, the star of David and, and the kings following it to get to baby Jesus. The star to me is always a card about following the right, following the pathway, even with a bit of blind faith, but getting to where you want to go. You'll always reach the objectives that you want. So when we're talking about commitment here, even though you've got a bit of blind faith, you're not really sure what's going on, there is that commitment coming forward for you, okay? Ace of Pentacles, Six of Cups happening over here. So what we've got over here is this, again, a much more stable new beginning between the two of you, your person offering you the stability that it is that you want and a reconciliation or a reunification or a coming together. Now, sometimes stuff in the past might have affected this, which is why they potentially haven't been able to commit to you. But it does feel now that that chapter is closing and the new chapter is beginning. And I just saw a very clear, clairvoyant image of the page being turned as the next chapter starts. So yes, you you are going to get the commitment that you want from your person. Let me see if I can get a timing on it for you. Let's use Lenoma. I do love my Lenoma. Can you tell me a timing, please, of when that number one's people will commit to them? When will they commit? Okay, so um, you're looking at around, um, well, Spirit is saying around Christmas time. Let me just get two more. When will they commit? You've definitely got commitment coming forward with the Lenormand as well. With heart, definite commitment. Talking about speaking the truth, talking about speaking their desires. They're going to express to you what it is that they want. Come towards you with some form of gift. Um, some of you guys, it will be around the Christmas period. Other than that, some of you guys, it's going to be around February. So, oh my God, you're going to be like, February is miles away. Um, but if you've waited this long already for the commitment that you deserve and you desire and that you want, uh, February is coming up. But again, some of you guys, it will be happening around Christmas time. You have got this commitment coming forward. You've got an offer of commitment coming in um, that they're going to give you a gift of love really really positive and that gift of love um, is going to take you both on new adventures okay so really strong yes there is that level of commitment coming forward for you and that's when we kind of go back to the blink 182 song at the start say it ain't so i will not go turn the light off carry me home they're not going anywhere. They haven't gone anywhere. Even if you guys are not in contact, your person hasn't vanished into the sunset. They are still lingering. They are still holding on and they are still wanting this connection to work out. Their actions might have been a little bit shady, a little bit dodgy, a little bit leaving you in the lurch about what they're doing. But actually, the love between the two of you is very, very strong and there is this past life energy. Now, I do do past life readings. If you want one, all the details are on the website. What we do is we're going to what has happened in your previous lifetimes and we clear the kind of karmic energy that may be lingering between the two of you so you can focus on the lighter side rather than the shadow side of the connection and that karmic energy can be cleared um so even if this has been a bit of a difficult road you know you still have this movement towards you and you still have this love and you still have this commitment coming forward um 
your person, if their behaviour has been a little bit underhanded, they haven't meant to hurt you. You might disagree with us there, but Spirit is saying really clearly, they haven't meant to hurt you. The love that the two of you share is so strong and it is so deep um, that it's not so easy for them to step away from. And they're having this realisation over that, you know, they're realising that this love is really strong. It's like a kind of a just sort of clairvoyant image of a moth going to a flame. You are the flame, they're the moth. They will keep returning to you because the love is really, really deep. And if we go to your Lenormand, you've got this, this gift of commitment coming forward. Okay, and that commitment is leading to new places, to new chapters, to new avenues, to new adventures for you both. To go on, following the right path, your person still clinging on. Really, really positive cards for deck number one. Okay, um, so that's step number one. It was really quick, but um, you know, when we got the we got the message out, you got the message out. So yeah, I'm gonna do a Salwain special. If you want any uh, any specific Halloweeny type things, write it in the comments for me. Um, I'll be back on Saturday with you all for Salwain. Um. What else? My turnaround time is down because they've put Stoke on Trent where I live on lockdown. And they have also, um, I've also kind of just got back. So I am, I have more space and more freedom. So if you want to book in, now is the time to do it. Okay, and that is deck number one, my beauties. Love you all to pieces. Goddess blessings to you all. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye, darlings. Okay guys, deck number two. Now, if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, I was just saying that my turnaround time is down for private readings because Stoke-on-Trent, the city where I live, has been put on lockdown. So I am back um, kind of at home all the time. So if you need me, um, just drop me a message. All the reading types I do are on the website. Do life purpose, past life, manifesting, bringing in what it is that you want, all sorts of stuff on there. So go have a look. Um, and if you e need me, just email mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. Right, think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes? And all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of depth number two. Right, my guide is saying two more. One. So as always, it works in the strongest mutual energy between you all. So it goes into all your people's energy, goes into all your energies, pulls out the strongest energy between everyone. So if anything doesn't resonate, remember it for a later date. It's possible that it's going to come up later between you all. Okay, can you tell me, is that person going to give them the commitment that they want? Are they going to give them commitment? Is that person going to give them Commitment. Three, four. Gonna get more for debt number two. We need a few more than we did for debt number one. Five. He's always popping up, isn't he? The good old knight of wands. Six. Two more. Three more. No, that's a hand slip. Seven. Okay, so you are dealing with perhaps potentially quite a difficult person, someone that can be a little bit stubborn, someone that can be a little bit um, stuck in their ways and someone that kind of isn't really giving you what it is that you want. They're feeling quite fidgety, Spirit is saying. They're not really sure what they're doing at the moment. They're trying to keep balance on it. They're trying to weigh their logic and their heart up and it's kind of getting to this point that you guys are thinking is something actually going to happen here because I'm getting quite fed up with this. Now, there is this very strong balancing energy going on and I just had a clairvoyant image of um in Cirque du Soleil I was watching it the other day in Cirque du Soleil they have these uh circles like the pentacles on here and they go around in a circle and people are on the outside of the the circles going in and out and moving around being like proper crazy but very very good but it's very much this kind of need for balance and this is why your person is getting fidgety and why you guys are getting fidgety as well there feels you guys feel to be out of balance with one another your chakras aren't aligning spirit are saying so what you can do with that is if you um sit there and you know get into a meditative meditative state visualize your person sitting opposite you see where your chakras are aligned with your person so it should be crown to crown third eye to third eye throat to throat heart to heart 
Um, so the plexus, solar plexus, sacral, sacral root, root, just going with the seven main ones rather than the meridians. OK, so you should have these seven main points. Now, what can often happen is when you guys are unbalanced, your chakras can be aligning in different places. So, for example, your heart energy could be linked to your person's root chakra energy. So what that means is while you're feeling very emotional, your person is really focusing on stability. Um, you know, another one could be your heart chakra is attached to the sacral chakra. So you're emotional and they're kind of horny. Um, communication, their their throat chakra could be connected to your solar plexus so while they're trying to communicate with you you're feeling that it is an issue with your confidence and things aren't working in the way that you want them to and it's your fault so really what you need to do is if you visualize your person sitting opposite you see where your chakras are aligned and just move them so just visualize it using the colors you know the colors of a rainbow starting from the red at the bottom working your way up to the violet indigo at the top and um, make sure they're all aligned rather than going from one place to the next, okay? And that will start to harmonize the balance between your relationship. It has been a bit out of balance at the moment. It has been a bit discordial, spirit are saying. Um, and the reason for that is firstly because your person's stubborn, but also because your energies are out of whack at the moment. Um, your person is quite the explorer, quite the adventurer, um, whether they've been thinking of going to travel or whether they're just saying they want to go traveling because they feel really shut down at this moment in time or whether they just want to be exploring new avenues, new adventures. Um, this is also what is putting a pause on you and your person. Okay, And this is why the world is coming up. They does feel that your person is always kind of seeking the next thrill, seeking the next thing. And I'm not talking about relationships. I'm talking about everything in general. Your person is not someone that really tends to stay still. They're always wanting something new, something different and uh, kind of quite a strong Gemini energy coming forward with that, you know, always wanting something new, um, always wanting to try something different. So where you guys have been, um, there has got to be a shift in your person's energy. And it does look like this shift is coming up. Now, at the moment, you have this kind of fear based energy coming from this. It's possible that they are having quite toxic nightmares over the situation. They like their freedom. They like their space. And this is why it's become quite a strain on you and your person. Poppy's just walked in. Um, why it's become quite a strain on you and them. You guys also might be having a few nightmares on it i know we spoke about this before but if you are having nightmares get the nine of swords out of your tarot deck turn it upside down and sleep with it under your pillow upside down please make sure it is upside down so that the nightmares don't manifest into your dreams but your person is having a lot of fear-based energy coming from this and it is giving them a few sleepless nights their emotions for you are deep but they're very good at kind of hiding away from them. You know, they can be a little bit selfish and that's why you're feeling a bit stuck and unsure how it's progressing. You don't really know what to do. The other thing that's kind of happening with your person is they can often wear a mask in front of you. I just had a clairvoyant of... Um, the Venetian masks that they used to wear, your person can often wear a mask in front of you because they don't want to let you into their true heart, true emotions, because it makes them feel vulnerable. Now, that's not saying that they haven't got those emotions for you because they do, but you have this fear-based energy that kind of comes up with those emotions, possibly going back through to childhood stuff, where it's really more difficult. With that as well, Spirit also saying that there is um, a bit of an addiction energy happening with your person. Um, so sometimes it might be that they're drinking too much or doing drugs or partying or you know all that kind of escapism behavior sometimes it's as simple as sitting on an xbox for hours and hours and hours on end or retreating away from the situation there is this kind of when things get intense with you and your person they do think about you know switching off a little bit and you might find this is why they're blowing hot some of them are blowing hot and cold with you now where do we go from there where do we go? So your person goes through this pay stages. Your person is going to be going through this stage of feeling a little bit lonely. They're also going to be feeling a little bit let down. Now, the reason why they'll be feeling let down is because they let themselves down, the spirit are saying. Um, they are going to be feeling a little bit confused. And again, this mask is coming on. So because they've been wearing this mask for so long, it kind of, when it comes to them really realising their emotions and putting their emotions to the forefront, it puts this kind of confusion over them because they are still trying to work out who they are. They don't know who they are as a person. You know, they haven't 
they have been through difficult times, but they necessarily haven't used those difficult times to build who they are. Instead, they've put that mask on and pretended that everything is okay. And so this loneliness is really deep rooted within them. And when this loneliness happens, this is when this connection comes towards you. With your Knight of Wands energy over here, this is the kind of non-committal energy coming up that we all know about. Um, there is potential over here for the two of you because we have the Eight of Wands and Nine of Cups. We have movement and we have this kind of need for wishes to come true, things moving in the right direction for you. But with you guys, this isn't an easy fin. This isn't a quick finish. You know, this is a slow and steady um, will be the one thing that wins the race between the two of you. OK, slow and steady will win the race. At the moment, you do have this kind of lack of commitment coming up. Um, but when this loneliness comes to the forefront and they they start going within themselves, experiencing dark nights of the soul over here in your, your nine of swords, when they start experiencing these dark night of the soul, this is when this connection is going to really start to grow and bond between the two of you. And your person will make those moves towards you without you having to force it. They will naturally start um, inclining, spirit saying, they will start inclining towards you. You know, like on the treadmill when you're on the on the incline, they'll start putting the work in to get to where they want to be with you. So the potential here between the two of you and them committing to you is there, but it's not an overnight fix. This is going to take a bit of time. They have to let this mask go. They have to let these fears subside so that the two of you can work together and build. And again, with them walking up this incline, um, it's going to be a bit of hard work between you both, but you have got the potential here for this commitment. Okay, let me just have a look at your Lenorma and see if we can get a when. Will they commit to debt number two? Will their people commit to them? And when? When will they commit? Definite transformation is needed in this connection. And this is where the dark nights of the soul will come forward. Your person will start to transform the energy uh, where you guys have been, there is going to be this transformation of your energy. So you're going to hear news of this connection. You're going to hear news of it shifting, of it moving. And what we mean by that is um, you might hear it from other people, but more so you're going to hear it from your person that they want to see how you are, what's going on, where is the connection headed? Um, is this something that you want to spend time investing in? Investing is the right word. Will they commit? Um, Beware of any kind of falsities of this. It is really important with your people in deck number two that you pay attention to their actions and not their words. Um, where it's going, the timing on this, um, you've got about, you've got a 20, so 20 days, 20th of a month um, or a two. Okay, so two plus zero, a two. So it could be two months, February, um, the second of the month or the 20th of a month. OK, so the timing on it, there isn't really a mutual timing between you all. It's very diverse timings. All that we can say with the timings of this is that um, it's not a quick fix. It's going to take a bit of time. You have got the really strong potential over here that this is going to work. And with Ryder coming up, this is always news, you know, news coming forward and um, news moving in your direction with the ship next to it. But with that ship, again, with snake, it's talking about being aware of any falsities, really um, seeing through the falsities and moving past them. And through that, you can have the, the gathering, you can have the talking, you can have the open communication, which will lead to news of potential commitment between the two of you. It's not all hope is lost at number two, um, but it is a bit, it's, it's not either, it's not a quick fix. It's something that's going to take a bit of work. Okay. And that is step number two. So if you need me, um, my turnaround time is down. Stoke on Trent, where I live, they've put the city on lockdown. So I'm stuck um, at home. So turnaround time is down. Also going to do a Sawain special for you guys. I just said at the uh, deck number one, if you have any ideas of what you want to see, um, just give me a shout and I will record it for you and get it out to you on Saturday because the veil between our world and the next is so slim and it is my favourite time of year. All right, goddess blessings to you all, my loves. I will speak to you soon. Take care. Um, yeah, take care. Lots of love. Ciao.